Hello, how are you? An image of two people shaking hands and smiling in a park. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. A person waving goodbye to a friend at a bus stop. Happy birthday to you! A group of people celebrating a birthday with a cake and balloons in a room. Congratulations on your graduation! A graduate in a cap and gown, holding a diploma, with family celebrating around. Merry Christmas! A family exchanging gifts under a Christmas tree. Happy New Year! People at a New Year's Eve party with fireworks in the background. Have a great weekend! Coworkers waving goodbye to each other in an office setting on a Friday. Good luck with your presentation! One coworker giving a thumbs up to another who is holding a laptop. Welcome to the team! A group of office workers greeting a new employee with a handshake. Safe travels! A family waving goodbye to someone at an airport. Quality English conversation, enjoying coffee at the cafe. Hi Fiona, fancy grabbing a coffee at the cafe? Sure, Albert. I could use a caffeine boost. Great! I'll order our drinks. How do you like your coffee? Just a simple latte, please. Thanks, Albert. No problem, Fiona. And for me, I'll have a cappuccino. Here you go, Fiona. One latte for you. Thanks, Albert. That looks delicious. And here's your cappuccino, made just the way you like it. Perfect, thanks. So, how's your day been so far? Not too bad, thanks for asking. Just busy with work as usual. How about you? Oh, you know, the usual. Trying to stay on top of things. But it's nice to take a break and enjoy a coffee with a friend. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Sometimes, a little break is all we need to recharge. Definitely. So, any plans for the rest of the day? Not really, just going to take it easy. Maybe catch up on some reading later. How about you? I might do some grocery shopping and then head home to relax. Nothing too exciting. Well, sometimes, a quiet evening is just what we need. Cheers to that. Cheers, Albert. Thanks for inviting me out for coffee. It's been nice catching up. Anytime, Fiona. Let's do this again soon. Definitely. Take care, Albert. You too, Fiona. See you later. Exploring music and art, a deep dive into our favorites. Hi, Isabella. Today, I've been thinking a lot about how art and music impact our lives. Who's your favorite artist or band? Hi, William. That's a great question. My favorite band is Coldplay because their music is uplifting and inspiring. It always puts me in a good mood. What about you? Do you have a favorite? I do, actually. I'm a big fan of Adele. Her voice is so powerful and emotive, 
it really resonates with me. What is it about Coldplay's music that you find inspiring? Well, their lyrics are very hopeful and anthemic. Songs like Fix You or Viva La Vida have a way of speaking to you, you know? It feels like they understand the ups and downs of life. Absolutely, music with meaningful lyrics can be very therapeutic. Speaking of which, do you prefer live concerts or listening to music at home? I love live concerts. There's something magical about experiencing music in a crowd, sharing that moment with others. How about you? Are you into live performances? Definitely. There's nothing like the energy of a live performance. However, relaxing at home with a good album is also a perfect way to unwind. Do you have a favorite concert memory? Yes, I do. Seeing Coldplay live for the first time was unforgettable. The atmosphere was electrifying, and when they played a yellow, it was just surreal. Do you have a similar experience? I remember seeing Adele in concert. When she sang Someone Like You, everyone in the audience was singing along. It was incredibly moving. That sounds amazing. It's incredible how music can connect so many people, isn't it? It really is. Switching gears a bit, do you also enjoy visual arts? Yes, I enjoy painting and visiting art galleries. Exploring different artists' perspectives is quite fascinating. What's your take on visual arts? I appreciate them a lot. I especially enjoy photography. Capturing moments and expressions in a single shot can be very powerful. Definitely. Art, whether it's music or visual, really has a way of capturing the human experience. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, William. Thank you, Isabella. It's always great discussing these passions with you. Enjoy your next concert. You too, William. Enjoy your photography and the next live gig you attend. Sarah wakes up at 7 a.m. every morning. Tom brushes his teeth twice a day. Emily goes for a jog in the park near her house. James eats breakfast with his family at 8 o'clock. Emma takes her dog, Max, for a walk every evening. William reads the newspaper while having coffee. Olivia does her homework right after school. George watches his favorite show on TV at 9 p.m. Isabella cleans her room every Saturday. Ethan cooks dinner for his family on Sundays. Master basic adjectives with simple English sentences. Is the apple red or green? The apple is red. Is the car fast or slow? The car is fast. Is the book interesting or boring? The book is interesting. Is the weather hot or cold in Canada during winter? The weather is cold in Canada during winter. Is the coffee hot or cold? The coffee is hot. Is the bag heavy or light? The bag is heavy. Is the cat big or small? The cat is small. Is the house old or new? The house is old. Is Linda happy or sad today? Linda is happy today. Is Pascal tall or short? Pascal is tall. Is the pizza delicious or awful? The pizza is delicious. Is the water deep or shallow? The water is shallow. 
Is the test easy or hard? The test is easy. Is the chocolate sweet or bitter? The chocolate is sweet. Is the flower beautiful or ugly? The flower is beautiful. Is the night dark or bright? The night is dark. Is the room clean or dirty? The room is clean. Is the grass green or yellow? The grass is green. Is the ice cream cold or warm? The ice cream is cold. Is the story short or long? The story is short. I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for watching.